I got old computer parts, so let's go build a computer. I recently found a deal on the Ryzen 5900X and what's great about the AM4 platform is I can just go keep switching out my CPU. So the price that I found the 5900X for is I think like 330 bucks. So I went ahead and jumped on it and I wanted to upgrade my 3900X. They're both 12 cores and 24 threads and I just wanted the latest and greatest at least for the time being. The 3900X is not just going to be sitting around, but this is going to be the base of what we're going to be building. Next, I found this Asus Prime X570 Pro uh, refurbished from Amazon. It's normally 250 bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up for 199 I would go with a B450 or B550, but what I found was it didn't have enough um, PCI Express slots by four. The plan is to use an HBA card and a 10 gigabit card and they both use at least a by four lane. And most of the motherboards that I found for B550 and B450 only have a by 16 and everything else is by one. So the slots are small. This one in particular has three total slots that I could use. I still don't know what this computer is going to be used for, but let's go ahead and get an HBA card or host bus adapter. The one I found on eBay is an LSI 9207-8. The 9207 is the model number. The 8i stands for 8 drives and the i is for internal. HBA is pretty much used for JBOD or just a bunch of drives. So this particular card is flashed in IT mode that lets me do that. Think of it as a software RAID and not a hardware RAID. I'm going to need a mini SAS to SATA breakout cables and I picked these up for about 15 bucks and the card itself is $52. I have this Chelsea 10 gigabit dual port card lying around. It's the CC2N320E. I think I picked it up around 39 bucks and it's supposed to work with many operating systems. So again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this computer. Maybe TrueNAS, maybe Windows Server. I, I don't know. All I know is I want to add it to my home server. For memory, I'm using Oloy DDR4 3200 MHz. It's a 2 times 16 gig kit and I bought two of them. So that's a total of 64 gigabytes. The speed is not that important because I won't be gaming in it. 32 MHz is fast enough for home server needs. I could do without the RGB, but it was on sale for $80 each kit. So 160 bucks for 64 gigs, it's not a bad deal. The power supply I'm using EVGA 850GA. It's 850 watts, 80 plus gold. It's fully modular. My main desktop was using this and the Ryzen 3900X. That is now running the new 5900X and I also picked up an EVGA Supernova 1000 Platinum. I upgraded the CPU so I might as well upgrade the power supply. Now the case I'm using is an old Corsair case. I don't remember what model number it is, but I had it for a long time. I remember the first build was an Intel X58 around 2010. The following year I built an Intel i7-2600K, the Sandy Bridge series. I swapped from the X58 platform to Sandy Bridge because I wanted to use QuickSync. This case is very roomy and it's easy to build in. I also have my old i7-2600K rig. It's still built and still running well. It can run mostly anything I want to play with. Let me know if you're interested in a video on it. Also let me know if you recognize this case because I can't seem to remember what model it is. I thought it was a 1000D but it didn't look like the images I saw on Google. I have a few GPUs lying around that I can use. One gripe I have with this 3900X is it doesn't have an integrated GPU. 
I want it to have a lower power consumption since this will be running 24 seven. I think this is the MSI 690 twin Frozer. Next is an EVGA 780 classified, then a Quadro P400 and an EVGA 3070 XC Ultra, which I replaced with a 3080 Ti Founders Edition. I have also an EVGA 2070 Super in another computer. I may just use the 690 for now. I haven't decided whether to use the SSD or NVMe as the primary storage. I have two 4TB and two 8TB drives I can play with. Those drives are from an old NAS I had built before. You may think those aren't spare parts. <laughs> they are still great parts. Yes, I agree. I have a tendency to buy things when I find a sale on them. This build consists of old or used parts except the RAM and the Corsair water cooler. I think it's an H60. I wanted to put it together just so that I can make sure that the used parts I bought does work before I could no longer return them. The air is probably coming from the mini split air conditioner right above the camera. Looks like everything is running. Not bad on the first attempt. RGB on the RAM is lighting up. Yes! <laughs> Checking to see if the CPU is registering. It gives the warning of TPM. This warning comes up when it detects a new CPU installed. Remember, this is a refurb motherboard. Also, the warning is for if you use BitLocker to encrypt your data. If it detects a new CPU and you have BitLocker enabled, make sure you disable it before swapping the CPU or the data becomes inaccessible. The HBA card is recognized as well as the hard drive is connected to it. It sees the SSD I have connected. Looks like all is in order. The thing is, I have to figure out what to do with it. Could replace my existing Proxmox server. I could find some more hard drives and build a TrueNAS server. I could do both. With the HBA, I can do a hardware pass-through and run TrueNAS as a VM. What do y'all think I should do with this build? Let me know below and thanks for watching.